with us. It's Miss Mucciaroni and Bony Tony. We're gonna to go over the skeletal system because these are gonna be the bones I want you to know for this class. We're gonna start with Tony's skull. And to do that, we're gonna use a life-size version of it. So with the skull, we have the frontal bone. It's all the way down here. The parietal bone. This is another parietal bone. This is called the occipital bone. The temporal or temporal bone. There's one on the other side as well. The cheek is called the zygomatic bone. Here's another zygomatic. This is the nasal bone, the maxilla is right here, the jaw bone is the mandible, then on the orbit of the eye you could see a couple different bones. They're hard to see on this, but this one right here, this little tiny tall rectangular one, that's called the lacrimal bone. Lacrim means tear. Think about your tears falling from that point. The lacrimal bone. And then behind it, there's this bone right here. This is called the ethmoid. And then there's one back here, which can also be seen over here. It's a bigger bone than it seems. This is called the sphenoid. So this bone is a sphenoid and it kind of continues on in here. It's a three-dimensional bone. And some of the resources I gave to you will show it in its three dimensions so you could understand that better. And lastly is the bottom where your spine goes into your brain. This hole is called the foramen magnum. And those are the bones of the skull. The skull is also part of what's known as the axial skeleton. So looking at Tony, the axial skeleton includes the skull, the vertebral column, the ribs, and the sternum. And so let's do the ribs. So the ribs, there are a total of 24, and the first seven that are directly connected to the sternum, which is this bone right here, these are called true ribs because they directly attach to the cartilage to the sternum. This cartilage is called coastal cartilage. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, these are true ribs. And then we have false ribs, which are Everything else that's below that. So eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12 are all false ribs. And that's because they do not connect directly to the sternum. Rib eight, nine, and 10, they kind of attach to the coastal cartilage and then go up and attach to the coastal cartilage from rib seven and then go over to the sternum. So those are considered false ribs. And the two false ribs that are not connected to the sternum at all, they are called floating ribs. So they're both false ribs and floating ribs. So 11 and 12 on both sides. The vertebral column or the spine has three, actually five main sections. So vertebrae one through seven are called cervical vertebrae. C1 and C2 the first two cervical vertebrae, they actually have their own name. This one's called the atlas, C1, and C2 is called the axis. They go in alphabetical order. And together, they form one of the joints that we talked about, which is a pivot joint. Then we could see that ribs start to attach to these vertebrae. So if a rib is attaching to the vertebrae, it's a thoracic vertebrae. You have 12 thoracic vertebrae, one is up here and 12 is down here by the floating ribs. So there's 12 thoracic vertebrae. 
And then when the ribs stop, there's five vertebrae in your lower back. Remember L for lower and L for lumbar vertebrae. These are the five lumbar vertebrae. And then the last part is a few, there's actually fused, five fused vertebrae here. And these five fused vertebrae are called collectively the sacrum. And then this little tip is called the coccyx. It's actually four fused vertebrae. And we usually call it the tailbone, but it's called the coccyx. And if we use a bigger model of this, we could see some lumbar vertebrae, the sacrum, and then the coccyx. The rest of the skeleton is known as the appendicular skeleton. The appendicular skeleton are the appendages. They include the shoulder, the arms, the hips, and the legs. So let's start up here by the shoulder and do the appendicular skeleton. So this is the clavicle. The clavicle, fun fact, is the most commonly broken bone in the human body. By the way, there's 206 bones in the adult human body. And this one's the most commonly broken, mainly because of trauma to that area, like direct force, or when somebody falls and they put out their arms, that's the bone that actually could be, be fractured. So that's a clavicle. And they kind of meet up with these, the, your shoulder blades are called your scapula. So there's two scapula, scapulae. And then we have the humerus, the radius, I'm sorry, the ulna, and the radius. So the ulna is pinky side, and the radius is thumb side. Remember anatomical position here. And the ulna kind of articulates with the humerus directly to form your elbow. Fun fact again, you don't have a funny bone. <laughs> You have, that's actually a nerve that runs through something called the ulnar groove, and it's kind of exposed and not protected. And so if you whack your elbow, you actually compress the nerve, causing that tingling, crazy sensation down your hand. All right, now down in the hand, um, these are the carpal bones. There's eight of them, so there's eight carpals. They all have names, you don't need to know them. And then these are your metacarpals one two three four five and then the bones that extend off of the metacarpals are just called your phalanges so a lot of people are confused on this if you look at my hand so my carpals are up here these are your metacarpals in the palm and then your phalanges form the fingers all right down in the lower half the hip bone is collect there's actually a couple different bones in here that fuse you don't need to know the names of them but collectively the hip is called the coxal bone and then we have our leg coming off of the coxal bone so the leg has the largest bone in your body which is the femur your kneecap is called your patella your shin bone is your tibia and the smaller bone on the side is called your fibula so tibia, fibula. And then they will articulate and form joints with the ankle bones called your tarsals. These are the metatarsals. And then your phalanges again, but phalanges are the feet instead. Tarsals, metatarsals, phalanges. And the hand, carpals, metacarpals, phalanges. There is one bone that is not shown in the skeleton because it's the only bone that doesn't touch any other bone in the body. And that's a bone that's in your neck, right by your larynx, right above your larynx, your voice box. And the only model that I have with that in is Oregon Morgan. If I lift the head up a little bit, the hyoid is this U-shaped bone right here. And it's used for different muscles to connect that's in your neck and whatnot. But it's the only bone that's not attached to any other bone, the hyoid. One other thing that we talked about when we talked about the skeletal system was that there's two types of bony tissue, spongy and compact. 
So this is actually a real bone from an animal. I think it's a deer. I could be wrong, but some kid brought it to me. And there were, there was another one too, he bought me two. So cut, I cut one of them open so you could actually see the spongy bone versus the compact bone. And then the marrow cavity, which is where yellow marrow would be. Whereas the spongy bone is typically where we, where we find red bone marrow, which makes new blood cells. The yellow bone marrow found in the cavity would store fat. There are different joints of the body as well. So let me go over the joints real quick. Um, the samples that I had in class are freely movable joints, which means they allow the most, most movement in more than two directions. And so I have right here, this joint, which is your elbow. This is a hinge joint. It has the humerus and then the ulna and the radius. Here's another hinge joint, which is your knee. You can actually see the articular cartilage here, which is a type of hyaline cartilage. When that wears away, that's called arthritis, when bone rubs on bone. So your femur, your patella, your tibia, and your fibula. Here's the hip bone, which is a ball and socket joint. Big range of motion. And this is part of the coxal bone, and then your femur. And this one's your shoulder joint, and another ball and socket. This is a clavicle. This is the scapula, and this is the humerus. And those are the different bones of the body.